Welcome back to the Monday Monologue. And this week, we're going to try to debunk something that some people might debunk. And what do I mean by that? This is something that, on the surface, sounded like it was snake oily kind of stuff to me. But after using them, I think they are... They're not a good value. They're, these things shouldn't cost this much money, but for a little less than a hundred dollar product, they actually do what they claim to do. And they're not claiming to do anything extreme, which I'm impresses me about the company, is they're not trying to say, make ridiculous claims, but I did hear a difference. And that's these little isoacoustics uh, insulators or isolators that you can put underneath your speakers and I was first again like I said pretty skeptical that something like these little rubber thingies would actually make any difference and before you go out and purchase anything like these try what I did and that was to get some basic cotton hand towels and fold them up several layers thick and then put them underneath your speakers between what your speakers are sitting on and the speakers themselves the, the shelf or whatever and then listen to them and I can definitely hear some difference between the two so that made me realize that insulating the speakers from what they are sitting on could make a difference I think one thing that's important is how your system's set up. I have my speakers sitting in the bay window of my house and they're both sitting on the same piece of wood. Like some people might have them sitting on the same kind of desk like this. And it is important to have the front of the speaker hanging off the front of the shelf by as much as you think you can get away with. I think that that really helps the sound too. But they're for these isoacoustic pucks, they're sitting on the same piece of wood. So I think, I think there was some transference of the vibrations from one speaker to the other and why isolating them from each other made an audible difference. And so, again, try putting some little hand towels underneath your speakers. If you can hear a difference, these little guys will probably help and look a lot nicer than having a couple of towels sitting under your speakers. I use my favorite adhesive, a little plyo bond, to attach them to the bottom of my Clips RP600M speakers. And they say to have the label face forward, which whether that makes any difference, I don't know. But I did what the instructions said. And... They do have like some kind of suction cup things on the top of them that should stick. But every time I've tried to move my speakers around, these little things would fall off and stuff. So I just decided to go ahead and glue them onto the bottom of my speakers. So instead of those little tiny, thin, little rubber dots that the speakers come with, I have these little pucks glued to the bottom of them. And so these things might be worth a try in your system. Is it something you should buy? Instead of buying a better needle for your phono cartridge, absolutely not. Are these things something you should buy instead of buying some super fancy power cable to plug your amp into the wall? Absolutely. There's things like that are total waste of money. These things can make a little slight difference. So that's my tip for this week. Uh, I would get them from Amazon. They have a very good return policy. And if you, you know, don't glue them on your speakers, but if you put them on your speakers and you can't hear any difference, then just send them back. But with my setup, with the speakers sitting on the same piece of wood, I could definitely hear that the bass sounded better. And it just, there was a little bit of clarity that wasn't there before. So, this is something you can give a try. It's not a lot of money. And for once, a snake oily sounding product that might not be snake oil. 
Hope you're enjoying my channel. Please subscribe, like the video, and I will see you next week on the Monday Monologue.